back to my small garage machine shop. Uh, I just wanted to kind of talk real quick here uh, about this book. Um, it's been such a help to me that I, I feel like I would be cheating you guys, uh, you know, if you don't know about it already, uh, to not mention this. That's how important it is um, for me. So this is the Engineer's Black Book. You can grab these on Amazon um, and eBay, you know, probably many, many other places. But uh, they go for about $40. Um, and they are absolutely worth their weight in gold. Um, you know, being that it's such a small book and there's so much info in here, um, you know, it has conversion tables, it has carbide insert uh, and tool identification. Um, you know, it has stuff on spur gears and grinding wheels, surface speeds to RPM. Uh, the list just goes on and on and on. But, uh, but the main thing for me is this section right here, which is the, uh, like I say, the carbide insert identification uh, and tool holder identification. And, you know, it really breaks this stuff down. You know, a lot of times I don't know what, you know, each one of these represent. I mean, TNMG, I know just because it's so common, but there's, you know, TNGG and all this different stuff. And to not, you know, really not have a resource or just to go online and look, um, you know, it's just, it's not practical. I've tried. Um, and this book just really makes it simple. Uh, all right. So uh, if you haven't checked it out, check it out. Uh, it's definitely worth it. Uh, and one more, one more thing, and maybe the most important, uh, is that these pages are washable. You know, if you touch them with greasy hands or wet hands, they're not going to get ruined. You just wipe them off. You know, um, you know, as you can see, my, my hands are generally not exactly clean, uh, and my book looks beautiful. All right. So I hope you guys found that useful. Uh, and I'm going to get on to uh, today's video. All right. So first up, we're going to take a look at this SNMG insert from Max Edge. These are just made in China. Uh, economy grade type inserts. I purchased these on eBay. That was about $20 for 10 pieces. So extremely affordable. Uh, and I'm going to be holding that in this MSDNN 12-3B tool holder from Shars. Uh, and we're going to go through and just decode that real quick. And I'll show you guys how useful that, that black book is. Um, this can be used for turning. I generally use it for chamfering. Um, it kind of brings me to why I made today's video. Uh, if you guys haven't already figured it out. Uh, so if we look at this SNMG 322 GF here, what does that tell us? Um, if we decode it in the book, we'll find out that there's great information here. Uh, it's not just a series of numbers and letters. Uh, so the S represents that it's a square insert. So that's the shape. Uh, the N represents that it has a zero degree relief angle. And the M here represents its tolerance, so three to seven thousandths of an inch. G is how it's held down. So that would be this here, how it's held down. The three represents that it's a 0.375 or three eighths size insert. The two represents the thickness, so that would be one eighth inch here. Uh, the two which is a very important one for me, represents that nose radius. So a two, as you can see here on this one, this is, this is one of those inserts. Uh, that two radius right here, if it was a one, it would have, you know, wouldn't have as much of a radius on it. And a three would have more. So great information even just right there. Now, if we go on, take it one step further and decode this tool holder here, we find out that that M represents the clamp and pin lock. So that's, the, that's how it's held down. So that is this clamp here, and then the pin here in the center that holds it down. The S represents that it's square. The D represents the approach angle, so that it's 45 degrees. All right. The N represents the, it's a zero degree relief. Um, let's see what's up next. The next N is that it's neutral, so this could travel in either direction. It could cut in either direction. If it was a right or a left, it would be an R or an L there, and then this would only be able to cut in one direction. Uh, the 12 represents the shank size. So even though it does say here on the Shars tool, it says three quarter, but we would know that right away by this 12 right here. The three represents the insert shape. And then the last one here, which is very, very useful, is a B. And that represents the overall length of the tool. So it's four and a half. We know that because... There's a B there. And in the book, it tells us B is four and a half. So really, really great. Um, the fact that, you know, you're able to just look at this at a glance and decode all this information. Uh, you know, maybe there's people out there who remember all this, but I can tell you it's not me. <laughs> uh, so, 
All right, so I'm going to take a look at the next one, and um, let me get it set up, and I'll get you guys back over. All right, so next up, we have from Forma SP, WNMG 060408-MD. And if we uh, use the book to break this down, this one being a little different than the previous one because it's, it's uh, metric. Uh, so W represents our trigon shape of the insert here. Uh, the N represents zero degree relief angle. So if we look at this from the side here, that this, this angle right here is zero degrees. The M is our tolerance. So that would be 0.08 to 0.18 millimeters. G represents how it's held down. So that would be right here in the center, how it's attached. Uh, 06 is our cutting edge length. So it would be our length right across this edge right here. The 04 represents our thickness. So it would be 4.76 millimeters. The 08, great information, that's our nose radius. So like everything metric, uh, a 00, zero represents the, the uh, sharpest point. And 32 represents a 3.2 millimeter radius on the end of the tool right here. So real simple stuff, um, like everything metric, you know, like a 17 millimeter wrench is bigger than a 10 millimeter wrench, you know, it's, it's real simple stuff. All right. So next I'll just break down the tool holder real quick. So the T would represent the clamp lock. Of course, I just turned it right. The clamp lock. So that means that this is the hold down for the insert. Um, this one does not have a set screw uh, here. It just has this clamp. So real rigid setup. Uh, w represents the trigon shape that goes in this tool holder here. The L is our approach angle. So if we look at this here, if this was 90 degrees, this edge here is 95 degrees. So that's how it approaches the, the work. Uh, N represents our relief angle. So that's zero degrees. R means it's right hand cutting. So this one would cut in this direction. Ironically, to the left. Uh, 12 is our shank thickness. So just like the previous one, that 12 represents three quarter. Uh, let's see, so three is our insert size and B represents our overall length of our tool holder here. All right, so I'm going to do a roughing cut with both these. Uh, we're going to see what kind of results we get. Um, it's something I ran into on a project here, and I was pretty surprised by it. So I figured I'd share it with you guys. And one other quick thing about the book. Um, in the book, the Imperial stuff is blue, and the metric stuff is yellow. So it makes it real easy at a glance to see what you're, what you're looking at. All right, let me get these set up in the lathe, and I'll see you guys over there. All right, so in the chuck here, I got a piece uh, 12L14. Uh, I'm going to be running this WNMG insert at 200 RPM, 100 thousandths off the piece, and our feed rate is going to be three and a half thousandths per revolution. All right, here goes. All right, I see a jagged edge there. Let's take a look at what we got. All right, so I mean, I'm not going for finish here, but we're just roughing. 
uh, but that is a pretty gnarly looking edge there. I mean, it would break right off there, uh, but it, you know, that's just something I see. So, uh, all right, let's see how the um, SNMG insert does next. All right, here's a quick close-up of the WNMG insert. Uh, you can see, I mean, not a terrible finish. Totally fine for roughing. But you do see this here, this kind of rolled over edge here. So, again, I can knock it off with my finger. But, uh, all right, let's see how the next one does. All right, so the SNMG is next. Um, 200 RPMs again, 100 thousandths off the piece, and our feed is going to be the same 3.5 thousandths per revolution. All right, this is kind of going so well here, I am going to crank the feet up a lot. All right, well, I think we get these chips off here. All right, I, to me, that's definitive. Um, I mean, the way that the it was just rolling that steel off of there beautifully. Um, it, it didn't seem to be struggling. It made no noise. I didn't hear the machine really bog down. Um, and I cranked the feet up significantly. significantly. Um, and you can see that it did affect the finish here. Uh, but that other insert there's no way i was going to be cranking the speed up anymore on that one uh so really i mean like i said this happened to me uh, on a project i was working on and it blew me away because i don't normally grab this uh for, for a roughing situation but I, I will now all right guys so i just wanted to try one more thing with this uh, insert because i'm pretty impressed with it here i am going to turn the speed up to 250 rpm so it was 200 prior and i'm going to run this um to let's see we'll do 250 thousandths off the piece all right and let's see how she handles it Well, I think I've seen enough. That was, uh, that was pretty impressive. Um, you know, this lathe I'm running here is an older machine. It's from uh, 1919. So, you know, um, I, I did make some upgrades for it. I like to maybe show you guys some things I've done to it uh, to, to improve it. But anyway, as far as this goes, uh, really, really impressed with it. Uh, like I said, I happened to grab this on a whim, and uh, it, it kind of blew me away, and I wanted to share it with you guys. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for today's video. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you found some useful information in there somewhere. Um, next time you're roughing, you might want to grab that SNMG insert. It might suit your needs better than you think. Anyway, uh, if you guys have some ideas for uh, videos, please feel free to leave them below. It's much appreciated. Uh, if you enjoyed it, subscribe. I'm going to keep putting videos out like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again.